Hey, would you like to eliminate people that are calling you or emailing you and they're spammers or marketers and people that you don't ever want to talk to again? In this video, I'm going to show you two very quick ways to deal with those folks and that video is going to start right now. Hey everybody, my name is Sean Seymour and I do how-to videos on things that are frustrating or cool with technology and also photography and video. So stick around or subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of that. Let's hop on the phone. I'm going to show you these two quick ways. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to get yourself on the do not call registry so that you can eliminate at least some of the phone calls. But let's hop on the phone right now and I'll show you exactly what you need to do in order to get rid of these people. So let's run over to the phone app real quick. Now you notice that my recent calls here, I have one from Homewood, Illinois, and another one from Tabor City, North Carolina. These are people that I don't know, and for some reason, as of late, I've gotten a lot of phone calls from the East Coast that are spam calls. All you need to do is click on the little I in the right-hand corner, and you'll see if you scroll down, some people don't know this because they don't bother to ever scroll down, and they certainly don't ever bother to click on this icon. But if you scroll down, you see Block Caller. Block Caller comes up, Block Contact, and you click yes and now you've blocked that caller. As you can tell, you can also unblock this caller. I have a video about how to block people on Instagram and this same thing applies here. You see that you can unblock this caller. If for some reason you're blocking a friend and you didn't realize it, you can always go back in and unblock them. So I would say don't worry about blocking people on this because you can always unblock them. So I block them, I'm gonna hit the I again and I'm gonna go ahead and block this person from Tabor City. Okay, and that's how you deal with phone calls. Now you want to put yourself on the do not call registry which we're going to talk about here in just a second let's get out of here and go deal with email so let me open up my email and I'm scrolling down and all of these people are people that I want except whoa hey unemployment what is that it looks like spam to me so let's go ahead and click on that one quick note about emails you have to be sure that you know who's sending the email and I don't mean a company I mean family and friends before you click on links that's one way that scammers and spammers are gonna get you is that they're going to look like a company that you know and then they're gonna have links this also applies to unsubscribe links if I scroll down on this particular email you'll see that there is an unsubscribe link right there at the bottom well guess what those unsubscribe links are links that they created they're not like a global hey unsubscribe so it could be a malicious link that says unsubscribe so don't click on those links instead what you want to do is you want to go up to the top and you want to click on their name and you notice that everything turns blue you'll also notice that this email is being sent to a whole bunch of people which is why I already know it's spam but anyway I want to block these people so let's click on the unemployment support now I don't know who info at yada 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 dot uk is right that's not an unemployment office so i want to block this contact and look right in the middle of the page there it says block this contact i click block this contact and they're gone now i won't receive any emails from this contact anymore the other thing that you can do is you can come down to this little uh share icon or arrow i don't want it's really a reply icon i don't know why it's got that but anyway under the reply icon you can move this message to your junk folder first of all you're blocking them so that you shouldn't receive that but then your email filter is going to read that type of email or that email from that address as junk and put it in your junk folder your junk folder you should just scan and then delete don't open any of those emails and definitely do not click on any of those links or you're putting yourself at risk this is the way that identity theft happens they start having you click on links you start entering information say Bank of America you thought it was Bank of America well it's not Bank of America it just looks like it and if they can get you to click on those links and you start entering information they got you please don't ever click on links from anyone outside of family and friends even companies that you think are legit you don't want to click on the link in the email instead you want to go to your browser you want to enter in the company's name and go do it that way that way you are physically visiting their website and you're not using the link to get to it all right so that's the first thing you're gonna do is block those callers just by clicking on them and selecting block caller the other thing you're gonna do with email is you're not going to click on any unsubscribe links because those are links that they create instead of doing that you're going to go ahead and click on their name and then block that email sender from your contacts then if you want to you can also put it in your junk email folder that way your email filter will catch it as junk and 
you're protected over and over. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to register for the do not call registry, which essentially says, hey spammers, please don't call me with any of your marketing stuff. This has nothing to do with your friends and family, has nothing to do with receiving normal calls. All this does is take you off of the marketing lists of people that are out there. And if you tell them, take me off your list, and you're on the do not call list, it's actually a federal violation, I believe, to continue to call you. Who knows who enforces that, but at least this is one more step that you can take in order to get off of those spammers call list. You can open up any browser. You can open up a browser on your phone. You can open a browser on your computer. I'm gonna use my computer. So let's go ahead and start that right now. So what I want you to do now is go up and type in do not call.gov. Okay, you can see that do not call.gov is a federal site. And on here, what we want to do is we want to register your phone. Once you register on your phone, they're going to send you a confirming email because they want to make sure that you're legit. There you go. There's the link. Once I click on that link, it'll take me back to the do not call registry and it says you have completed your registration. By adding yourself to the do not call registry, you are at least taking that first step to get yourself off of the marketing list of the legitimate marketing companies. Keep in mind that if these people are not legit, they're not going to worry about whether you're on the do not call registry or not, but at least then you can block the phone number in your contacts the way that I showed you earlier in the video, and that's going to help. Hey, well, I hope you found this video helpful because if you did, you're no longer getting spam calls, you're no longer getting junk emails, and you're taking care of all those people by putting yourself on the do not call list until you i see you on until yeah yeah until i see you on the next video my friend keep it simple Woo. <laughs> hey would you like to eliminate people that are calling you yeah me too <laughs> one more just one more take please oh my god i hate it when i do this